Hi everyone, uh, well today I'm in uh, another field and I've just had to take my son for an appointment somewhere. I had to take him out of school and take him sort of 15 miles out to Aylesbury. And on the way back, I spotted this field, which is full of poppies. So um, I hadn't got my camera with me. So I rushed back home, dropped him off back at school, rushed back home, grabbed the camera. Lesson is, always take your camera with you, which is generally my golden rule, but I forgot today. Uh, went back home, got my camera, and I've come back to the spot, and I'm now just, when I, when I was here earlier, the sky was amazing over this, so I've set up over this, with this hill behind me looking towards this hill. Now, the sky was incredible out there. In fact, it was very much like that sky across behind me as I stand this way. An incredible sky. However, unfortunately, that sky has now moved by the time I've got back here. So I have just been in the field next door taking a few shots there, uh, which is quite nice look overlooking, looking towards Aylesbury. But I really want to get this poppy field, so I'm going to wait here. Weather forecast says the sun might come out. Um, but I'm just going to wait here. I'm parked in the gateway, so I hope the farmer doesn't come along. I'm right on the edge of the field. I don't like to encroach, because this is essentially a crop. I don't like to encroach. And I've just, I'm just playing with stacking graduated neutral density filters to try and bring out, try and darken the sky and bring out some, some light on the field. So... I started off with, they're, they're all soft edge graduated because of the hill and I started off with uh, just a 0.9 I've now added a 0.6 when I was shooting over there earlier I added a 0.3 as well so I was stacking all three and I'm just playing around stacking, taking them away and just shooting I'm just waiting for the light, waiting for the clouds to change stacks are going by and we'll see what we get uh, just hope that those clouds from over there behind me now come round there's some across that way as well that look amazing so it all depends I'll either get wet or I'll get a great cloud formation see how it goes uh, still waiting for the clouds um, they're looking really special over there now uh, with the rain coming down sort of over Aylesbury direction uh, still no good in this direction um, if anybody interested, that's the Chilton Hills in the distance there. It's, uh, sticking up on the hill is uh, the master Aston Rowan, Aston Rowan, Aston Rowan, which is near the cutting on the M40 that goes through. That's on the start of the Vicar of Dibley. Um, I'm going to have a wander up and down the field. I chose this point because there's this nice sort of pinky purpley flower as well <coughs> as the pop is. But I'm going to just have a wander up and down and see if there's a slightly better vantage point anywhere further up while I'm waiting for the clouds. As a last resort, there is a possibility I'll take the clouds from over there and composite them onto, these, onto this scene here. We'll see. Right, so the sky's not playing ball where I was pointing. So I have swung the camera around and I'm facing towards where the clouds are. Uh, and we'll see what happens with this. It's actually looking through the on the screen. It's looking pretty good. Another thing I've done is, unfortunately, all the poppies are facing that direction. So this one here, facing the opposite direction, which is slightly annoying. So I'd like to be, you know, see the open poppies. But I can't really control Mother Nature. So put the clouds over there and the poppies looking at the clouds so just what I've done is I've just opened up I've ignored this poppy here even though it's very nice and big one but because it's facing away from me and also some of this stuff here was getting in the picture which I didn't like so I've just moved slightly and got this as my closest one and I've just opened it up myself because it had sort of got closed up the rain had gone on it so I've just opened it up myself to make it more pleasing in the image so let's see what we get. Okay, so I've had a look through the 
images that I took of the poppy field and this is the one that I've decided that I like the best. Um, there's a few reasons uh, but this is where I turned the camera around and looked over towards Aylesbury and uh, I like this sky but the one reason I chose this is because even though it's a little blurred um, I've got this bumblebee who came along to have a look at this poppy here so this is the one I'm going to work on but obviously it's a bit flat and so we need to pull out uh, a, a bit of excitement in it so the first thing I'm going to do there's a black line here I'm not sh not really sure where that came from but we just need to heal that so we're just going to zoom in and we're just going to choose our heal brush and we're just going to just pull along like that job done now the next thing I want to do is I just want to get the white balance right so I'm just going to choose the dropper and then I'm just going to choose there that looks okay to me so it's just warmed it up a bit uh, this is the coloration here uh, there from the neutral density filters that I had on which will get dealt with later on okay the next thing is to bring up the contrast we'll go about there next thing I'm going to do is bring up the vibrance to really make it pop let's go a bit further with that say about there uh, I'm going to bring up the saturation a little bit but I'm not going to go too far with the saturation I'll go there uh, I'm going to do my whites and my blacks as I normally do so here we hold down alt and we do the whites bring the whites up until they start to show and bring the blacks down until they start to show so blacks are, blacks are pretty much zero anyway so we'll leave them as they are um, I'm going to bring up the clarity just a bit I think we'll go about there uh, what else should we do let's have a look at sharpening it up a bit because these poppies I think it'd be a nice idea to sharpen that up a bit so let's zoom in and see what we're actually doing yeah that's I'm not going to go too mad that will do and then take care of the masking which is holding down alt and make sure we're only masking the edges not masking the sky and so on that'll be fine now I mentioned earlier about the slightly purple saturation uh, in the sky so the next thing to do is I'm going to go to HSL here and I'm going to get my dropper and I'm going to make sure I'm on saturation okay and I'm just going to pick an area and I'm just going to bring it down so that's going to make the sky much more acceptable in terms of its color so we're taking all that purple out of the sky now I like my skies dark so I'm going to just darken that sky a little bit so I'm going to use a graduated filter and I'm going to put it down like that and go about that angle and then I'm going to bring the exposure down quite a long way and you'll see why I'm going to go so far okay that will do and I'm also going to bring up the clarity on the sky but I'm not going to go that far okay so that's brought the sky down now what that bring that what that does is that brings out the land a little bit more I'm just going to bring that down a bit more you'll see why I'm bringing it down a little bit more um, in a minute because I've got a little surprise if you like now I'm going to do a graduated filter on the land also so we'll just pull that up from there we go there something like that let's just get that 
across like that. Move that up. And I'm just going to bring up the saturation just on the land. I'm not going to go that far. That will do, mate. So if we turn off before the graduated filters, there we go. Okay, so that's a couple of graduated filters. Now, what I want to do is warm the whole thing up a little bit. And the way I'm going to do that is with split toning. Okay, so I'm going to, on the highlights here, I'm going to pick a colour. So we'll go about there, a nice yellowy colour. And then we'll bring up the saturation. And you see it's just warming it up. So I'm going to go about there. We'll just get this colour right. Yeah, that will do. And then same on the shadows. I'm going to go to roughly the same point. And then we're just going to bring up and it's really warming that up quick so I'm just going to do a little bit there and let's see if I turn that off it's a bit colder and we've brought it a bit warmer the reason I've done that is because I want to there was, there was no sunshine I could leave it there and actually I, I like that picture I'm happy with that um, but what I'd like to do is add a little uh, bit of sunshine into it. Now the sun was behind the cloud. There was there's no shadows. There's no nothing. So we don't know which way the sun's coming from in this picture. It was actually behind me, I think. Like I said, I couldn't see it. Uh, but according to the time of day, it should have been behind me. Uh, but there was a bank of clouds, so we've got no shadows to worry about. So we can essentially, if we can put a sun somewhere, uh, we can put it wherever we like. Now I did this on a image that I did that I put out the other day which which is this image now the Sun in this image the Sun wasn't there now I actually did this with an iPad um, app called lens light for this image it worked fine so I did most of the uh, post processing in Lightroom and then I got a JPEG out of Lightroom onto the iPad and I use lens light to add in this sun which was great it really worked on this one the trouble with it is I think it will cause some artifacts in the sky on this one the sky is quite different quite dark uh, so what I'm going to do is do it in Photoshop so that we're actually still working with the raw file uh, I'm going to bring it into Photoshop and and try and recreate the same kind of effect as we've got here so here we go, uh, we're going to edit in when I can find it and we're going to go into Photoshop. Okay so there it is in Photoshop and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new layer. I can never remember which one create a new layer is. It's uh, that one. We're going to create a new layer and we are going to call that middle okay so and then what we're going to do is we're going to take our brush and we're going to make sure that we have hardness set to zero we're going to have a decent sized brush so we're going to have it bigger than that I think we'll go about that size and I don't really care where I put this for now, but we're going to make sure we've got our brush as white. And we're just going to click there. And that's it. Job done. Now, the next thing, this is going to be the center of our sun. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to duplicate that layer. Okay. And we're going to call that glow. And there it is. And the next thing we're going to, and what we're going to do with that, is we're going to, <coughs> excuse me, select our transform tool, and we're going to select that. I'll make sure we're on our glow layer, and we're going to do 
Alt and Shift, and we're going to resize it to make it nice and big. We're going to go about like that. Okay, so that's done that. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a hue and saturation layer. Oh, apply. We're going to go to here, to our glow, and we're going to add an adjustment layer, and we're going to add hue and saturation. Now, we're going to then click colorize, okay, and we're going to just get the roughly the right hue and the right saturation. Now, the, sat now the hue, we want to be kind of yellowy. And the saturation we're going to whack right up. We're going to go mad. Now, don't worry, it looks awful at the moment. We've gone really over the top, but don't worry about that. Okay, we're going to close that down. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to hold Alt and we are going to click. See how this changes to a down arrow when we go in between the glow and the hue saturation layer? We're just going to click there and there that blends it blends them together and the next thing is we're going to go back into the hue and saturation oops and we're going to change the lightness we're going to bring it down and you can you can see how the glow starts to come in okay let's let's go about there okay now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to change we're going to select our middle layer and we're going to change the blending mode to linear dodge and that will make some differences later on as we make some more changes the next thing is we're going to add a brightness and contrast layer to the middle layer and we're going to bring our brightness up and we're going to bring our contrast up Okay, that looks good to me. Now, the next thing we need to do, one thing I haven't done yet, is put these in the right place. <laughs> so we're just going to move this sun to where we want it, which is about here. Okay, that will do us there. Now we're going to go to middle and we're going to bring the opacity down so I'm going to go about there and I'm going to bring the fill down and I'm going to do the same with the glow so we're going to go to the glow and we're going to bring the opacity down and we're going to bring the fill down okay and that will do there and that brings us our sun now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to select all of those and I'm just going to group those together. Let's call it group one, just so I can show the difference. Okay, now there's a couple more things that I could do. One that I'm certainly going to do is 
let's just have a look yeah where we've done the contrast I'm going to just it, the, the the poppies have just got a little bit too contrasty so I'm just going to brush those brush the contrast away from there so I'm going to select the brightness and contrast layer and I'm going to get a brush and I'm just going to brush them and I'm going to go over all the poppies and I don't need to be to go too mad but I'm just going to brush away the effect contrast effect doesn't matter if I go over and I'm going to go a bit you know make a bit better job of this I'm going to zoom in and just do these but you can see this is just brushing away oops brushing away the effect the contrast on these poppies and I'll probably do a bit more touching up and playing around here and there but essentially there we go there is the finished article and we've put a sun glow in there uh, to make it look like the sun was shining on the field brilliant thanks uh, very much for watching if you enjoyed the video please subscribe there will be plenty more to come and I'll see you again next time thanks a lot